and good morning. It's been a long time, but I'm back. Okay, as you can see, I did almost an hour of off screen fishing here. I did so because the weather conditions today it's going to be very hot today and partly cloudy and it's very very foggy you'll see in a minute what I have so far two wonderful spotted bass they gave me a good fight Here's my new rod, my new reel, and yes, it's a right-handed reel. I figured out how to do that, and I'm using the, um, what's it called? The one uh, quarter ounce casting spoon. So that's what I'm using. Here's my new handy-dandy uh, tackle box kayak does not come into play because we're in Lone Star Lake again. So, in a couple of minutes it should go to 6 a.m. 6 a.m. gaming time and hopefully some of this fudge, as I used to call it, this fog will burn off. So I'll show you where I am fishing now on the map. Uh, here, new private room. Let's go fishing. And take two. Let's go fishing. Now there is the cabin. See? There are the big rocks. We turn around. Usually I'm all the way down there. And there is my big tree. So let's walk down to the tree. We get right about in the middle of them for it. And six o'clock. And please, let's have some of this burn off. Well, not quite. Not much of the fog burned off. So, let me try something. Let's zoom to 8 o'clock. That's much better. Thank you. Won't be quite as active, but at least you folks can see what we're doing. Now I do have a marker down here. And let's see if the fish are still biting at this time of morning. So how are you folks? Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing great. Sorry for no videos recently. Lots of real world things were happening. And I had to take uh, care of those. Get it up here. Next cast. Yeah, I think uh, I think I've taken myself right out of the prime feeding time for this spot. Oh, that didn't work. See, just when you think you've learned it, you cast the bloop. And there. Nope. Oh my goodness. I turned on the camera and now all of a sudden I can't do a thing. Really? Come on. And... Yep. Yeah. Nope. 
what ever. Fine, we'll go down here then. We'll just try that. That's better. Yes, my allergies are still in full force. Beg your pardon. Well, good news today. On this day. This afternoon, when I get back from my real-world real job, I oh, got one. Thank you. I will be bringing home my new kitty cat. So that's big news. Oh, a grass pick roll. I didn't know pick roll were in here. Wow. Oh, and you hear the birdies in the tree. That's something that you don't hear unless I think you're standing right under the um, tree. Whoops. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Back on. Come on. Uh, 15 inches. Yeah. Sure. Exit, please. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I know this game. Sure, I know this game. Yeah, I, I really, I, I always love that bird. Like I said, you don't hear him way down uh, on the other end of the lake. And the first time I heard it, it scared the cr Cradola out of me. There we go. The, uh, the new reel and the new rod and however this is supposedly set up. It says with the, uh, the, the spoon, the casting, gotcha, the, the casting spoon is too light of a bait, so I don't get the uh, full length of the cast, cast that I could get. Another spotted bass. Very nice, yes. Okay, 148 Baconiuses. Nice. But, uh, yeah. No, I, I miss playing this game a lot. I miss uh, making videos for you folks. But, uh, uh, really. But real world stuff got in the way. And if I can't do better casting here... And I'm just going to give it up and start this again. There we go. Yeah, I swear when 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 the uh, creator of this game brought out that last update, I think he made uh, casting more touchy, made it more difficult to put it where you want it. Yes, Miss Bird, I hear you. Everyone hears you. <laughs> uh, no, uh, when I began playing this game at the five o'clock hour game time, it was so foggy you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. I mean, I literally could not see that buoy right back there. Could not see it. Yeah, you see, I'm not even getting 110 feet on these casts. But I like the fact that I have a, a casting rod and reel now and it's it's a right-handed 
rod, a right a right handed reel, I should say, and um, they're sturdy. I'm not breaking my line every two minutes or having lots of percentage damage. So yeah, I'm quite pleased. And on Emerald Lake, we are getting the bigger fish. Oh yes. But I did not have enough money to go to Emerald Lake this morning. <laughs> Look. 105 feet. Come on, where are you? Now, I'm having to uh, reel in. Oh, got one. Thank you. I'll, I'll finish that thought in a minute. Turn down my reeling speed just a wee. He's mediocre. Probably another spotted bass. Yep. 12 inch at that time. Hello, Mr. Bass. 147 bucks. Thank you. Yes, on some of these uh, reels, you cannot reel in fast enough on the first setting to uh, have your lure stay on top where it needs to be. So I've clicked another arrow, and you can see him reeling in a little bit faster. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about in a minute. Here, let me just show you. That's that's the way it should be, just one arrow. And now you see how slow he turns it. And it's just now starting to drag off the bottom and you're not even getting the, the full top spin action, top, top water action. So you have to set it like that. And then it comes right up. Trial and error have to uh, be used in this. Ha have to be used in this game. Let's go over here again now. Uh, mm -hmm. Go over here. Yes, I. Um, I purchased a football game um, from a, a company on Facebook. I saw an ad for it. Price was right. Oh, I thought that was a fish. It was a snag. <laughs> um, purchased the game and um, loved the game. And I and I do believe it is video uh, doable, but it is the hardest game to call an offensive play on I've ever seen. I mean, I sat with that thing for I think an hour yesterday, trying to read up on exactly how to make it call a play and do everything it's supposed to do, uh-uh, I had to go, <laughs> so, I'll get back to that game this evening, probably, while, while my new kitty is getting used to her new environment, and we'll see uh, if I can make heads or tails of that game. Maybe I'll put that up on the channel. But it feels good to be making videos again. Come on now. Come on now. 
No? Okay. Well, let's walk down here a bit. There you can see the sun coming up. Let's go right about here. We'll try it there. Lots of pollen in the air this morning. Ooh. No wind whatsoever anymore. Earlier there was just a very light breeze. Now it seems to have gone dead still. Sometimes I've noticed when you move on this game, your first cast or two will yield a fish. Still a little bit foggy for my liking for this video, but it is what it is. And yes, I, it, it does not rain here on Lone Star Lake, Texas. I've never seen it rain once. So how all this lake water continues to be here, I don't know. Give that one a hand wave. <laughs> let me look, let me let this go down to the bottom while I take a sip of coffee. Good coffee. Now we begin again. Yeah, so far my favorite lake is Emerald Lake, where I can use my kayak, uh, kayaks. I think I only am able to go to four of them so far. But uh, of the ones that I've been to, Emerald is my favorite. This one here, Lone Star, it's it's the level one lake. Uh, it's pretty good, but, but you don't get any real weather variation. You get uh, sunny or partly sunny. And that's it. Maybe the occasional all cloudy, but but never any rain. So I think there's one lake up in Canada where you actually can get snow, which is kind of cool. But there's only a handful of lakes I've noticed where I can use my kayak. I think only three of them. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Now we've just gone dead here now. Going to going to the nine o'clock hour does not work. I think I've, I think I have one or two fish on this video. I'll check it here in a minute. Come on. Come on. Yes, I get snagged over on this end all the time.
Yeah, I think my allergies are bad now. Oh boy. I've got my allergy medicine already purchased. Because with uh, my new kitty cat, her name is Princess Josie. I'll call her PJ for short. Ah, snarf. Snarf. Yeah, when Princess Josie comes tonight, uh, my allergies will not be used to uh, that kitty cat. And I'm going to need all the assistance I can get. There we go. 102 feet. Mm. Now, I do uh, still have a uh, another rod and reel that I that I can use for live bait and sure you get much more action I mean you get a ding and a fish almost every time you cast that's that's the easy way out um, that's for if you want action if, if, if you want a challenge and if you want a bigger fish, you go this route. Because as you can see, I am not getting a fish every time anymore. So this is actually more realistic. A little more boring for you folks at home. There's the sunshine. Oh, screen screenshot me thinks. Yes. Thank you. And take care of sinuses. <clears throat> and I'll continue. Be careful about getting snagged. These lures are expensive. If I lose a worm, I could care less, but... Yeah, I was going to make a video the other day, and my back went out. So, uh-uh. Let's, let's try something. Let's go over here. And we'll walk on the dock here. To about yonder. It's starting to clear up a wee bit now, thank goodness. and see what we can get here. Trying to go take it right over that marker. Come on. Come on. You know you want to bite. You know you want to bite. Don't you? Yeah, we have four bass and a pickerel. That's right. I keep forgetting that you can see what you've caught. Gonna be in the uh, flotsam over there. Yeah, see. But in the uh, stuff where you get your line snagged, sometimes fish hide. Come. 
Huh? You know you want to bite. You know you want to bite. Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. Okay. <laughs> No, as I've said before, this is my absolute favorite game. I could play this game literally all day long. But I have to go to work here later, so can't do that. To make videos, I have to get up early, and I mean, I do that anyway, but... I get up early and do all the things that I'm going to do before work. Because when I get home from my re real world job, I uh, sit down in my recliner chair and I'm out. I'm spent for the day. Now, I want one more of this before I end this video. Let's see. This is cheating, but do you see any bubbles or jumps or anything of that nature? Not re oh, 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 yep, right there, right there, right there. A small one, I think. But let's see if we can get them. Yep, we got them. Sometimes, if you look for the bubbles or the jumps, and then try to aim pretty much for it, you'll get one. To me, that's cheating, but. You folks want to see me catch fish, now just hear me flap my gums. Ooh, grass pickerel, thank you. $72, yes please. Ooh, beauty, beauty, yes. Now stop. Oh, I hate this thing that you're trying to get the fish in it and then... Here we go. Screenshot. Okay. Exit, please. Thank you. We'll add you 72 bucks. All right. Well, let's walk up to the house. I always do this at the end of every session I play when I am not doing it on camera. Just like you're walking back up to get a cup of coffee or have your breakfast or what have you. Boy, would I love to really own a cabin like this in real life. On my own personal lake. That would be the life. Okay, that's going to do it, folks. Uh, yep, we have to get out of this page. That's right. Yeah, just about a little, a little over a half hour. Oops. Uh, I've had fun today. Sorry that first part was a little bit foggy, but we had some good action. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, my name is Joe. 
This is the JNK Gaming Channel, and we'll see you again next time around. Okay, bye-bye.